Hey everyone, it's Fred's Modic here. Now in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to play GameCube and Nintendo Wii games on your Mac or PC using an emulator called Dolphin. Now on the Dolphin homepage on their website, there's some links to download Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, system requirements, etc. But when you want to download, you can either click that download button just there, or go to the download page and then download the revision of Dolphin that is suited to your machine. 32-bit or 64-bit Windows or Mac OS X. Now to play Nintendo Wii and GameCube games on your computer, you must download the .iso disk image from an online website. Now for legal reasons, you should only download the disk images of games that you actually own on a GameCube or Wii disk. If you already have that disk, it might be a good idea to rip the ISO from the disk so that you don't infringe copyright and go into breaking the law. So for legal reasons, only download disk images of games that you already own. I'm using Mario Kart Double Dash as an example because it is a game that works for me and I actually own it. Anyway, let's get back to the tutorial. Now when you first open up Dolphin, there are a number of buttons in the menu that you can click on. You can open up a disk image, you can refresh the directory that you've chosen for your disk images, you can browse for a directory for your disk images, you can also select the disk image you want to run and then click play, but when you click configure, you want to um, use these settings that I've got right here. For the frame limit, if you're in the PAL region, you'll want to use um, 50 frames per second, if you're in the NTSC region, you'll want to use 60 frames per second. Uh, for the DSP emulator engine, use DSP LLE recompiler, and also set your sample rate to 48,000. This is what I've got for my GameCube settings and my Wii settings. And after the paths, this is the directory where all my ISO files are stored. Now in the graphics section, you can change the resolution that you want to play your game at. I'm using 640x480 because that's what works for me. And I'm also uh, using some of these enhancements. Scaled EFB copy, and then those settings right there. In the hacks, I'm using... Uh, not really that much, and also not really that much in advanced either. Now for DSP, like I said, use DSP LLE recompiler, that will make the background music play a bit better. Now for the GC pad, this is uh, for controlling the GameCube, I've mapped the GameCube controller's buttons to a number of di different buttons on my keyboard so that I can use my keyboard to play these games. As you can see, I'm demonstrating with some of the different controls that I've mapped to my keyboard, and you can also configure it for all four uh, GameCube controllers, as you can see right there with pad 1 to 4. Now once you've done that, you can also configure your Wii Remote, but since I don't use this for playing Wii games, I'm going to set that to none. And there are also set settings for sensor bar position, IR, etc. But when you want to play your game, you can then just select your ISO and click play. And what will happen is it will show a BIOS screen, and then it will start playing the disk image as it decodes it. As you can see, this is running at full speed, the game's running very, very smoothly, all the music's playing, there's no graphical glitches, and um... It's a good thing that this computer, uh, or my computer at least, does have some good specs in order uh, for the game to play smoothly and so that I can do a screen recording at the same time. Now I do recommend that um, you have a computer with high-end specs if you want to be able to play these games at full speed, like I am right here. But enough about that, thanks very much for watching today's Mac tutorial, and I'll see you in the next video with another Mac tutorial. See you guys then!